Okay, so in this problem, we already know that um, a matrix A has the following decomposition, U sigma V transpose. So um, to show that, um, to show that the columns of um, V are eigenvectors of A transpose times A, we can compute A transpose A. So A transpose A equals to U sigma V transpose, and then we put another transpose outside, times U sigma V transpose, equals to V sigma transpose U transpose uh, U sigma V transpose. And we know that both U and uh, V are orthogonal. So the definition of, of orthogonal matrix will be U transpose equals to U inverse and V transpose equals to V inverse. Uh, so by this condition, a transpose A equals to V times sigma transpose sigma. Uh, because U transpose times U equals to uh, an identity matrix. So we can ignore this part times V inverse. Now we move this term V inverse to the left. That gives us A transpose A V equals to V times sigma transpose sigma and we already know that uh, sigma are diagonal matrix so sigma equals to something like uh, sigma 1 up to sigma uh, n and there are some uh, zero terms here so sigma transpose times sigma equals to uh, something like sigma 1 square, sigma 2 square, and sigma n square. OK, so with this result, we know that if we write out v equals to a lot of column vectors, v1, uh, v2, v3, up to vn, then we can decompose this equation as A transpose A times VI equals to sigma I squared times VI. And uh, this is exactly the eigen, the definition of the eigenvector and eigenvalues. So sigma I squared are um, eigenvalues of A transpose times A and uh, VIs are corresponding eigenvectors. So this proves um, the, so if sigma square are eigenvalues of A transpose times A, um, then sigma i's are uh, singular values of A. Uh, this proves the, the first and the last statement. And for the second statement, we just do the exactly the same thing for A times A transpose. But in this case, A times A transpose equals to uh, U sigma V transpose times V times sigma transpose times U. And again, we use the fact that U transpose, uh, V transpose equals to uh, V inverse, so the product of these two matrix will be an identity matrix, so we can ignore this. Then we have U uh, sigma, sigma transpose times U, sorry, there's a transpose here, but we can uh, rewrite it as U inverse. Then we have A, A transpose times U equals to U times sigma times sigma transpose, so the column vectors of U, that will be UIs, are eigenvector, eigenvectors of A, A transpose. So this proves the second statement. And we finish uh, the proof here.